Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about the rest of the 1x fault analysis. I'm going to talk about the eccentric rotor, the bench shaft, the structural resonance or looseness, and the soft fault. The eccentric rotor uh, happens when the center of rotation is offset from the uh, center of geometry. And this could happen in pulleys, in gears, and in the bearing on of the motors. The main and high amplitude vibration can be seen at the running speed 1x in the direction through the center line of the uh, two rotors. The phase difference between the horizontal and the vertical will be in phase as you can see here. The vertical on, of the bearing and the horizontal will be in line with the, the belt. Uh, please notice you have two speeds at this condition. You have the 1x of the fan and 1x of the motor and the 1x will be high in the radial direction. If you try to balance a rotor have eccentricity, the vibration could decrease in one of the radial directions and will increase on the other. So when you're trying to do balancing for a fan which is built a driven fan and it have eccentricity, if you have any residual imbalance, okay, it will decrease. But if you still have eccentricity on the pulley or in the rotor, when you drop the vibration on, on one of the direction, for example, in horizontal, you will find it will increase in the vertical. And you keep moving around yourself, trying to balance this fan, and it will not be uh, straightforward. And one of my advice is, if you're trying to balance a fan and you follow it the correct uh, procedure to balance this fan, and you put like a trial weight, correction weight, and again correction weight, and again trim weight, or correction weight, and the level's not decreasing, Mostly, if you're following the, the, the right procedure, it's not unbalanced. The second uh, condition, which you can have high 1x, it will be in the bend shaft. In the bend shaft, it can cause high 1x mostly in the axle direction. The axle phase reading are out of phase, about 180 degree, in the same machine component. Like, what I mean with the same machine component, if you do this on the sh fan shaft or on the motor shaft. You need to be careful of the sensor orientation, both must be on the same direction and if you couldn't put them on the same direction, you must compensate the 180 degree difference. Uh, you might see 2x on the vibration spectrum if the bend was more near to the machine coupling and 1x would be higher if the bend near to the shaft center. Uh, also you can see high 1x in the structural looseness or resonance. You will see uh, high amplitude 1x vibration on the uh, radial direction, mostly in the horizontal direction because it is the most flexible direction. Uh, it can be caused by uh, a foundation flexibility, loose and hold down bolts or corrosion, crack in the foundation or many other reasons. Uh, it will be out of phase 180 degree between the moving and the stationary stationary part. And for example, uh, if you measuring the vibration on the base of the motor itself and on the foundation, you will find the out of phase about 180 degree because of the cracks. Uh, as a result of structural resonance or cracks, ODS and the motion amplification can be used to confirm uh, the maximum deviation uh, location. Uh, also, if you do balancing, trying to balance such uh, a machine, you might reduce the amount of residual imbalance, but you still have high vibration at the running speed 1x because of the flexibility. This is a screenshot uh, from one of the ODS jobs I, I did. If you see this black, uh, the bold uh, black uh, lines, this is showing the uh, the moving of the uh, of the foundation or the base of the machine, and the purple one is the uh, uh, real or original location. Uh, the levels is magnified just to show you how, how much it is moving. Also you can see high amplitude 1x on the soft foot. Yes, in the soft foot condition you can see twice line frequency uh, and uh, this happened because of the uh, soft foot cause air gap variation and uh, it caused uh, rotor eccentricity. But you can see also high amplitude 1x if you have soft foot. And the best way to check this, uh, by the way, you can see it on the radial or axial direction, and you can do the check this by doing soft foot dynamic testing, which is a very good way to confirm the fault. You can lose one of the hold down bolts one by one and collect live vibration data and monitor the change on the vibration level. This one of the cases I found, you can see here the vibration level is about 16 millimeter per second. Uh, we use the spanner to lose one of the hold down bolts on the on the motor, and when we lose it, the vibration level dropped from 16 to 6.5 millimeter per second on the running speed and then we when we revise the machine alignment levels drop from 6.5 to 1.35 so soft foot is really you can see it as 1x you can see this on the radial or axial direction 
uh, yeah that's all for today for the one X and next time we're gonna talk about the uh, the alignment and the misalignment and how you can see them on the vibration spectrum uh, I hope you like the video please like uh, subscribe and share and um, yeah that's all thank you for watching